hello everyone welcome to abc tutorial and uh, thanks to watching the video and you can uh, go abctutorial.com for uh, searching any of article or point of sale related article here or you can post your any query or asking or any request in our community page which is abctutorial.com community so uh, today i will show you part number five uh, no not five it's six point of sale so today i will show you the part number six point of sale so in last video i did few work like uh, mm, i did uh, login i mean check login method and uh, i pass the value from uh, view to controller uh, method and i checked this data is coming and this data is filtering from database so and i checked already it is existing in database or not and in previous video i was um, set it up here set authorization cookies right so hence i'm not using the form authentication so it's not it, it will not be uh, uh, not be usable for me because I, I am using uh, I'm using JSON request Ajax request for uh, login so in that case I will never use this form authentication I will use different authentication so today my topics is how to login using Ajax and how you can manage filter uh, authorization filter option I mean when admin will log in he can see this page but in other uh, roles people will never get this access of this view so this is a uh, 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 this is a topic to for today so uh, i can i can uh, provide the access for a specific role to this view and i can restrict to specific role persons in this view so uh, i will show you these things so in first um, i have to add few uh, i not few one um, class so i will add a folder you can name it anything but i will name it helper so i already copied this code few line of code so this is my code I will name it authorization filter and I will copy this full code here. the control dot then reference will come just add it so uh, just copy this code and paste in a uh, class just name this class authorization filter so in that case my point is when I will trigger in this login method I mean check login method it will uh, redirect with parameters I mean user parameter and password parameter and then it will fetch data from database then it will check it is null or not if not null then it will goes to goes to is locked true so before is locked true I will set it session so I will session I will set a session variable so I will name it username right so I can put it user the small name right so also I will use it small name so 
so if not null then that item dot username will be here else it will be false right and this will work as like previous video just I, I added this so after login what we are doing after login if login is success then we are redirect to home index so when this user will go to home index I want to check it this user is already logged in or not logged in for this I have to add a authorization filter I mean this this name this name control dot it will suggest you using point of sale I mean this project name and this helper so just add it so in that case if I if I logged in then it will redirect to inside the index page when I will be login page when I will click login button it will trigger here and then it will check and it will set a session if login otherwise it will never uh, set any lo uh, session and it will never go there if it is already logged in it will uh, redirect to this index page and this authorization filter uh, will check this user is logged in or not how it will check when this will come here index first it will check authorization filter and authorization filter see I added on authorization filter context and here is few code of uh, action descriptor is defined and then it will here and it's if it is true then return okay here is our main check the current session username is equal null then it will redirect to HTTP unauthorized result so HTTP unauthorized result mean it will redirect to you uh, go to app help app start startup authorize uh, auth and if it is not logged in and it will redirect to you this page so but I want to redirect me in login page so which login home login so now just run the code see what happened this uh, after uh, running this project basically in for, uh, in previous video when I run this project this automatically redirect me to index page I mean in route I provided home index that means when project will run it will first go home map controller index method but it will never go to home met home controller index method it's coming home controller login method because when it redirect to home controller index method it checking this authorization filter when it goes there it it says that session is null right so session is null mean it will redirect to where I already described here home login so this is now in home login see I will provide wrong password so what happened it will never go to home index because these things is handled in this code else it will go to home login if I provide valid credential see it will redirect you to home index because now it's login right now when it's coming 
there it checked authorization filter inside the authorization filter I already set up this code so we can uh, customize this code as per our expectation so in next video I will uh, work more about login I mean how to decrypt your password and how to uh, how to create a md5 password and how you can verify using this md5 password so thank you very much for watching this video keep subscribe and keep watching